Hey guys, to celebrate reaching 100 paintings on this channel, I thought it would be fun to rank every single painting that I did, that I've ever done on Let's Paint. So, yesterday we ranked every painting from year one. If you are interested in seeing that, I will link it up right here. Um, and today we are going to be ranking everything from year two. So we're going to go, just like yesterday, we're going to go from least favorite to most favorite. And we'll see how this all ends up. Coming in at number 20, the least, my least favorite painting from year two is Sunset Wilds. I, I, I don't hate it, but, um, you know, it's just, there's a lot of things wrong with it, really. Um, in the actual track Sunset Wilds, um, the, the, the scenery changes. So this is lap one, this is lap two, this is lap three. The, the problem I had with it I thought it would be fun to show all three laps in one painting, all three scenes in one, and, you know, that was a good idea. That was good. Uh, the end result, on the other hand, not so good. Not so good. Um, the trees should be rocks. <laughs> the ground needs a lot more detail. The ground needs something else on it. And I feel like if if I was to add the trees, they should be below the higher... The, 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 Yeah, I feel like if I were, if I was going to paint the trees in any way, I really should have put them below the horizon line. Because they're just behind it and they look kind of weird. They should be rocks anyway, so, you know. At number 19, we have Rolling Sky. Um, I really think the only problem I really have with this one is the platforms themselves. Because they look very flat, even though, you know, and the ball right here, the ball kind of blends in with the background. So, you know, you can't really see that. I do like how the foreground turned out. I like how the, not the foreground, but the background turned out. I like how the little buildings in the background look. It's just, it's really just the pillars in the foreground that are the, that are the issue here. And at number 18 is Spooky Mansion. Um, I really liked this one at the time. Uh, over time, my liking for it has kind of gone down, but I do, I do still like it. I do think that um, if I were to make this painting again, I would kind of move the camera out a little bit so you're kind of viewing it at a distance and you can actually see more sides of the house um, and maybe even the fence that's in the game, but um, it didn't turn out terrible, but um, yeah, it's just, it's just not my favorite. It's not my favorite. At number 17, it's Hyrule Field. This is actually one that I started uh, in year one. And for, for whatever reason, I never finished it. So I came back and redid the whole thing, and I think it turned out really cool. I do think the grass kind of turned out a little bit chaotic, just a little bit, and um, the mountain could have a little bit more detail. But other than that, I do, I do really like how this turned out. At number 16 is Bridge of Elden. Um, I've always really had trouble with this one. I've always had um, an issue with how I did the bridge. I feel like the bridge just turned out really weird and really wonky. Um, I think... I th and after I finished this painting, I actually went back to see how I did. And, um... Yeah, these, these trees should not really be there. These, it should be more like a cliff face where it kind of comes up right here and, you know... That didn't, that didn't happen. I turned it into trees and hill, hilltops. Not terrible, but um, yeah, I've always had trouble with how the bridge looks and just how the whole thing came together. Not my favorite. At number 15 is Snow World. Um, another one where I had good ideas on paper, but the, the end result just kind of turned out not so great. I think the hill... There should be more hills, really. There should be more hills there, and um, the sky, these little auroras. Because these auroras right here is the exact reason I wanted to paint this scene. Um, they should have more detail. They really should have more detail here. There should be there should be little white streaks and more details to the, the hills in the, in the foreground. But besides that, I think it turned out really cool. Coming in at number 14 is Castle Black. Um, this one is one that I, I pretty much freehanded the entire thing because I didn't have a chalk, uh, a chalk pastel at the time, so, um, 
Yeah, everything kind of got free-handed, and this right here, this whole thing right here is supposed to be in a circular pattern, but I ran out of room. I, I realized I had run out of room, and I didn't want to go back and fix it, so I just did that. Still kind of looks, it still looks interesting, but yeah, I wish I had paid more attention and maybe, maybe even done this one when I had gotten the chalk pastel instead of doing it here, but yeah, I don't think it turned out too bad. I don't think it turned out really that bad. At number 13 is Lava Lake Planet. Um, I just really, I had to redo this lava about 10,000 times because I wasn't happy with it. And it, it turned out a little bit chunky. It, it really did turn out really chunky in some spots, but um, I do really like this area of the lava right here. That little, that little streak of yellow coming in. I like, I do like how this turned out, and I do, um, I don't, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Coming in at number 12 is Royal Raceway. I think, I think most of it turned out pretty cool. It's really just the hot air balloon and the castle in the back that I'm having issues with. I feel like the hot air balloon really should be smaller. It really should be smaller because it kind of takes up the entire the entire thing and kind of makes you look at it and it's really big and important. When it really, it should be like maybe this 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 size this size maybe like all over here, you know, but not like this big and in your face. <laughs> that's that's really the the only problem I have with it and the castle as well. Um, at number eleven is. Mario's Rainbow Castle. I think, again, I really like this one because of the rainbow, really. But uh, the, the actual tower right here didn't turn out too great. Um, I do like the cloud, and I really, I really do wish that Toad, Toad was right in there somewhere, but he's not. He's not there. <laughs> I tried to paint him in. I really did, but I wasn't happy with it, so I just ended up just kind of removing him from the piece. The rainbow is really my favorite part of this painting, honestly. <laughs> and we're entering into the top 10. At number 10, we have Five Star Patch. Um, really the only issue I have with this one is the tree right here. I do really wish this the tree had a little bit more detail and um, a little less streaky, a little bit more like, you know, like actual tree bark instead of just streaks of brown and black to represent tree bark, <laughs> you know? But um, I do really like the mushrooms. I like how uh, Kirby and Prince Fluff turned out. I like how the five star patch turned out. I like how that, the grass turned out right there. It's really only the tree I'm having issues with. So it, it ended up pretty high on the list because there's not too much wrong with this. It's really just the tree. <laughs> At number nine is one main point. I just, I really have issues with this one because I put the horizon line right in the middle. I didn't think they would cause much issue, but it kind of did. It kind of messed with my mind and how to draw everything. And so, you know, this, this door right here ended up not even pointing to the, the vanishing point, but everything else did. <laughs> so yeah, I do wish I had put the horizon, the horizon line lower. I was actually planning when I did this painting to add a different building behind another building behind Able Sisters, but because of all the complications with the horizon line being uh, too high up, I ended up just kind of scrapping that idea and not using, not using the dream suite in this painting. And at number eight, it is 365 days. So this is a painting that I did to celebrate uh, reaching the end of 365 days of Mario Maker, which is a series I did back in 2017. And I really like it. I added a hammer bro in there because a running gag in the series was that I hated hammer bros. And I do. I really do hate hammer bros. They are the worst. <laughs> so I had to include him. I do think this is this painting was a nice way to sort of end the year off and end, um, end the series of Mario Maker, which was, which was a challenge and a half to do, but it was a fun series and, um, yeah, I'm happy with how the celebration piece turned out. At number seven, it's Outer Rings. This one is, this one is really neat. I really do like how this turned out. I like how the galaxy looks. I like how the stars and Kirby and the enemy and the clouds look. It all looks very cool. And um, yeah, I think, I think it's one of my, it's one of my favorites. 
At number six, it is Galaxy Obstacles. So, I, re I really do like this. Really, the main issue I have with it is right here. This little planet, I do kind of wish I had done a little bit more detail to that. Um, but, you know, there wasn't a whole lot of detail I could do because I actually forgot to paint this. And I painted these platforms here before I painted the planet there. So, you know, I, I worked with what I got, with what I had to work with. And, um, so aside from the planet, this whole thing turned out really cool and I like it. At number five is Galaxy. We just did Galaxy Obstacles, now we've got Galaxy. That wasn't on purpose, I just, that's how I ranked these. <laughs> so this one, I actually do really like this. I like how the, um, the, the planets all look together. I like how the galaxy looks. This is one of my favorite galaxies I've ever painted actually. I really like how this little blue streak right here looks. That looks really neat, and yeah, basically, pretty much the entire thing turned out really neat, and yeah, it's one of my favorites. I actually had another idea before I decided to paint all of these paintings, all of these uh, planets together. I had actually just planned to paint this planet right here, so it was kind of just going to go across the canvas like this and have the house that's in it. It was going to be just a uh, good at Galaxy, and I decided to add more planets to it, and that, that was not that was not a bad move, honestly. I like how that looks. I just realized I had three Galaxy paintings in a row. That's That was not intentional at all, but that's that's how I ranked the paintings. We, we had put three Galaxy paintings right in a row. <laughs> Interesting. And at number four, it is Constellation. This is actually based off of... A game that I played on my iPad a few t a few years ago. It's, it's called Pictorial. Um, you have these all these little stars everywhere, and you're supposed to rearrange them, kind of twist and turn them to make a constellation. And it's a really cool game. So I decided to to do a painting based off of that. And this was only the second painting from year two, so um, you you know I was still learning. I was still figuring out exactly what I wanted to do, and so you know. Some things got a little bit messy in some areas, but I, I've i always loved this one. At number three is Act One. This is based off of uh, Battle Block Theater, and I really like how the uh, the buildings look in the background, how the, the X's or crosses look, um, how pretty much everything looks. I pretty much, um, I feel like I nailed the art style of Battle Block Theater because it has a very uh, distinct art style, and I I wanted to recreate that in this painting, and I think it turned out really cool. All right, we're getting down to the wire now. At number two, it is 8-Bit Squidling. I had to put this one up very high on the list. I just, I love this one. I really love this one. Um, I love how the, um, the, the Squidling looks. I like how... I, this is my this was my first attempt at doing a pixel art painting and honestly I'm not disappointed. I'm not disappointed in, in it at all. I think it turned out really cool. It's more on the simple side compared to uh, my other pixel art paintings, but it sometimes simple is better, you know. And at number one, this is actually my favorite painting I've done. Um, in terms of how they came out, this is my favorite one. It is Strike the Earth. Based off of Shovel Knight, um, really the only problem I have with this one is the smoke here. I really would have painted the smoke a little bit smaller, maybe just be coming off of the, the flame like that, but um, I ended up making it really big and really large, which ended up um, kind of making the sky look a little bit muddy, I guess, a little bit darker than I wanted it to, because the sky was the reason I wanted to paint this scene in the first place. So I remember thinking to myself, um, or saying to myself, as I was painting the smoke, I was like, Oh god, I messed this up, didn't I? I messed it up, and I tried my best to fix it. Um, it turned, it still turned out a little bit too dark for what I wanted it to be, but, um, yeah, for how it came out, this is my favorite painting I've ever done. I really do like this one. And that is it! That is every single painting from year two. So... This, this was fun. I will see you guys tomorrow where we will rank every single painting from year three. See you then.